everybody, and welcome again to Z's Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big every week. It does not matter what sport you're betting on, we have you covered. Before we get into the NBA picks for May the 9th, I want to invite you to join so you have access to the uh, VIP Club section right here, which has all the wonderful tools to help you make your picks. So, we're going to take a look at some games for this weekend as the NBA season is just about ready to close and the playoffs are right around the corner. So let's take a look at the action for May the 9th. Scroll down here, the Miami Heat and the Boston Celtics. The teams are battling for the sixth spot in the Eastern Conference. Boston is burning hot at the moment. You can see that they won their last game against Orlando in three out of their last four. The Miami Heat are averaged down after their loss to uh, Dallas by a 127-113 to score. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you can see that Miami has a plus 21 to plus 12 edge in that category. Head to head, Boston won the last game between those two teams by two points as a road underdog back on January the 6th. You're considering the over and under, you can see that Miami is playing in games trending well over the line. Boston also over the line, so over is going to be a wise choice in this one. If you want to see how the two teams are stacking up according to their uh, stability, how consistent are they performing according to their favorite and underdog status? Both teams are pretty stable at plus 14 for Boston and plus 12 for Miami. Let's take a look at the uh, scores predictor, the Z code scores predictor. And this is for Major League Baseball. So we want to get the scores predictor up for the NBA. So we'll just change it over here to NBA. And you can see here for Miami and Boston, the first game on the list. It is 107 to 100 in favor of Boston. Scores predicted with a very pretty good high confidence level of 78%. So take that into consideration when you're making your picks. I believe that the Heat actually, though, has a good chance to come away with the win. Even though the scores predictor has Boston with the favorite, I don't know. I just have the feeling with everything else that is happening, according to all the other indicators here, that Miami will be the one to come away with a win, and I believe that it was going to be a close margin of victory in favor of Miami. New York Knicks and LA Clippers. That's a good matchup, but I'm not really taking a look at that one. Here's Dallas and Cleveland. Dallas is looking to secure a playoff spot, and the Cavaliers are among the worst teams in the NBA. Dallas has a advantage here. And on the power rankings indicator of plus 18 to plus 2, you can see that both, well, Dallas is averaged down at the moment. They are 1-1 one one over the last two, although they were 4-2 over the last six. Cleveland is average status at the moment, even though they have lost their last six, which I'm not understanding why that is average, considering they have lost six in a row. But anyway, that's what this is indicating, average. Uh, if you look at the head-to-head -head matchup, you see the two teams have not played since 2019, so you don't have to really consider that at all. If you're considering the over and under factor, Dallas trending over the line, Cleveland playing in games trending over the line, so over would be a very solid bet here. You want to see how stable the two teams have been. Uh, Dallas not as stable, so they're not really performing as consistently according to their favorite underdog status as Cleveland is, and considering that Cleveland is an underdog most times, there's a very good indication to bet Dallas on this one. But again, let's look at the Z code scores predictor and see what this has to say. Now here, surprisingly or not, they have Cleveland as a three-point win, 103 to 100. But take a look at the confidence, only 55%. So that's just barely better than a coin toss. So just take that with a grain of salt. Maybe you want to check back as it gets closer to the game to see if this is updated and see if the confidence percentage has increased before you decide on the pick for this one. But I really do believe that um, somehow that Cleveland will find a way to win this game at home in an upset. Don't know why exactly, but just have a, a, just a hunch that Cleveland is going to take it. Minnesota and Orlando. New Orleans and Sh Charlotte. Chicago and Detroit. Both teams are on the outside of the playoff picture looking in and basically playing for pride at this point. Chicago has a plus six, see here, plus six to one, plus one advantage on the power rankings indicator. If you look at head-to-head -head in the last meeting between the teams, Chicago won, Chicago won the last two, between the two teams actually, by three points and by 14 points. 
at home and on the road. The Bulls are ice cold down at the moment, losing four straight games. The Pistons are ice cold down also. They have also lost four straight games. And considering the over and under, you see Chicago is playing in games trending way under the line. Detroit is also under the line. So I would predict a low scoring game here and picking the under. The two teams very stable. Well, let's see. They are stable. Detroit plus 23. And Chicago at plus 14. I think Detroit will be a slight favorite in this one. And I believe that the Pistons will win the game and cover the spread. The Oklahoma City Thunder and the Sacramento Kings. Here's another matchup with two teams going nowhere. Uh, both teams, again, are out of the playoff picture. And the Thunder, you see, have dead status, and they have lost four games in a row. Sacramento also dead status. Now, it's a little surprising, even though they're down near the bottom. They have played better lately. Look at this, winning five out of their last six games. If you look at the power rankings indicator, that should show that and it does. You see that Sacramento has gone up from plus five just a week ago, up to plus 14. While Oklahoma City has been stable over the past week, a little bit more than a week, actually, at plus three. If you're looking at the head-to-head -head matchups between the teams, the last meeting on May 4th was won by Sacramento by four points on the road as a favorite. You're considering the over and under, Oklahoma City playing in games trending under, and Sacramento under as well. Betting under is a wise choice. Let's look at the scores predictor and see what this says. Oklahoma City and Sacramento. You can see here they're predicting a tight game with Sacramento winning by two. But it's only a 57% confidence. As you see, most of these games here do not have a very high uh, confidence percentage yet at this point. Maybe as it gets closer to the game, it will. So in the end, I think that uh pretty hard to predict this one with these two teams. But I do believe that the Kings will win this one at home and cover the spread. The Suns and the Lakers. Phoenix is second in the Western Conference, and the Lakers are sixth. Phoenix has an advantage here in the power rankings indicator of plus 29 to plus 15. They're burning hot at the moment, even though they lost their last game to Atlanta by 32 points. They have won five out of their last six. The Lakers have average stats. They have won only two out of their last six, but they are coming off of a win against Denver by four. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchup. You can see that Phoenix won the last game by 17 and the game before that by 10. Both as well. Actually, they were a home fear, but they were a road underdog back on March the 2nd. Considering the over and under, way over the line for Phoenix right now. And the Lakers are trending slightly over the line. I predict this one to go over. If you look at the scores predictor, we can see for this one, it is a five point win for Phoenix, 103 to 98. But again, not a real high per, uh, percentage of confidence, just 62%. In the end, though, Phoenix is clear with a better team right now. The Lakers have been struggling with injuries, and I believe that Phoenix will come away with the world win and cover the spread. So there you have it. Those are the five games. But before we, before we leave, I want to show you something here. This is the uh, how to choose the best winning automated systems for May. If you scroll down through here, you see it says the new sports trader is a great way to do it. So what you want to do is you want to click on this link here. You see zcodesystem.com backslash sports underscore trader. And you will have a list of all the, the best tools, all the best systems. And you can see here, you can also watch this video, Sports Trader 2.0, detailed video tutorial. That will help you as well. Question and answer sheet. So you can see a lot of wonderful things here. And here's a screenshot of the trends. So. I think this is going to be a very important tool for you to check out. So just check it out before you make your bets. So there you have it. Those are the picks for May the 9th for the NBA. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.